So the purpose of Autonomous Warrior 23 is to provide a venue uh, for the Royal Australian Navy to invite mostly industry to showcase uh, uh, high TRL S&T, uh, high technology readiness level, uh, science and technology efforts, as well as recently transitioned uh, programs of record from, from uh, partners and allies. What ONR is contributing to this exercise is that really it's a joint effort between the systems that ONR has worked on and has been delivered to the, to the fleet and we're actually utilizing that, demonstrating that system. ONR's role in this exercise is to help sponsor government-to-government -government collaboration with Australia. And in this purpose, we bring out uh, ONR technologies to work with Australian technologies, with their scientists, and what we get out of this is an evaluation of our technologies in a collaborative development, looking at it side by side under a mission scenario. So the, the Marine Corps effort uh, that I'm focused on to bring here is called uh, the XFAB. It's a expeditionary capability that provides additive and subtractive manufacturing. We are able to, uh, at the point of need, fabricate and produce uh, some of the repair parts uh, and uh, custom solutions that uh, Marines can fabricate uh, using software technologies uh, and create one-off parts that may be, provide a solution that we don't even have in our uh, supply chain. So we have multiple printers, uh, multiple bed sizes as well. Uh, we have printers that enable us to use uh, composite materials such as carbon fiber and Kevlar for reinforcement. And we also have uh, other printers that use, use generic uh, plastic materials. It enables them to solve an immediate need. So if you imagine that you might need a knob for a critical radio and maybe that knob is missing, instead of having to buy a whole unit, you could recreate that knob. Sometimes you don't really know what's going to break. You certainly don't know that you might need it. And so how we can now pre-position data and manufacturing equipment instead of parts will help with that logistics footprint. We've made medical tools. We've made various different hinges, uh, latches, um, several different propellers and impellers for submarines. This lab is specifically designed for that purpose, to make the Marines' lives easier when they are forward deployed. It is able to get weapon systems back in a fight, which can completely revolutionize our ability to sustain forward deployed Marines. It's designed to be able to replace complex parts that have broken to get doors back attached to vehicles, radio systems back in operation. The sky is the limit when it comes to this equipment and what it's able to do and how it's able to help these Marines. Well, I think there are a number of ways that Autonomous Warrior can benefit U.S. sailors and Marines. One of them is to experiment on new technologies, uh, have new things that are brought to bear here in Australia. They've got a lot of companies and uh, DST, the Defense Science and Technology Group, uh, really develops a lot of things that uh, are useful not just for their own forces, but uh, the U.S. can leverage those capabilities. The way this exercise serves to engender collaboration between ONR, DOD, and our Australian counterparts is that we bring together a lot of scientists and engineers and warfighters and even project managers, program officers, who have a very strong interest in evaluating these technologies, not on PowerPoint, but in the field, okay, in a mission environment.